Still Creek Ranch has existed since 1988 to take children from crisis to new creation. The way that we define crisis is generally abuse, neglect, or abandonment. And more specifically, we look at the ACEs, Adverse Childhood Experiences, in which we look at physical, emotional, or sexual abuse, physical or emotional neglect, violence towards mother in the home, drugs and alcohol abuse, incarceration of a family member, uh, death of a parent, divorce, and other adverse childhood experiences that lead to uh, crisis and uh, need the trauma-informed care that we give here at Steel Creek Ranch. So for over 35 years as Steel Creek Ranch and for another 15 years as the answer is Jesus Christ Ministries, the ranch has sought to take children from crisis to new creation through our core values. And our core values are to provide a safe home for our children, to provide a great education, to lead them in the gospel, and to teach them a good work ethic. And really, if you go back to the very first one, a safe home, it takes the ability to uh, provide a safe home and that's not just to say four walls, a roof, meals on the table, but really we have to give felt safety. Uh, so for a child to be in the home and to feel safe, uh, once we've achieved that, then we have the opportunity to introduce the other three core values, the gospel, education, and a good work ethic. But we really can't access those three until a child knows that they're safe in our environment. A really hard past with my bio mom. She was not abusive but she did neglect me and she did do some pretty bad things to me and um, then one day my dad took full custody of me and um, then he met my stepmom and we actually had a fun time for a little bit. It all went pretty well, pretty smooth and then when I turned about seven and eight I began having a really bad part of like anger and it wasn't like necessarily like bad bad anger but I would kick I would flail I would get mad and do some pretty harmful things to my mom and my dad and um and I didn't know Jesus at the time my family isn't Christian a few years later I still had some issues and then I went to two mental hospitals because I had some really bad anger issues and it helped a little bit and I got on a different med which helped and then after that I kind of realized that there was a place for me and they started looking at boarding schools and stuff like that and they said most of them are going to be Christian and I said that's fine with me and so they came across one that was a barn and I said "Ooh, I'd love to do that and they it was older kids only and so they found Still Creek and that was like a blessing because ever since Still Creek happened like when I first came I still had some issues I was doing pretty well though and then a few months later I was doing perfect and this is my second year and I feel like God's helped me and ever since I came to Still Creek it's like God's been there for me since day one and he's been helping me through everything and I pray to him every day asking him for the strength. Can I show the camera around the house? Yeah, totally. Let's just walk around real quick. Okay. Okay, so this is my side of the room. It's a little dull, but I like it anyways. <laughs> um, I have some pictures over here of my family. 
And yes, I am pretty organized, but, um, and then on the other side of the room is my roommate's side, which is Delaney, and she's a pretty chill roommate. I love her, and she's got lots of things, <laughs> but they all look good on her side. They suit her personality, and then we go out here, and, and you can on, 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 uh, obviously see a bunch of dogs. Um, so for me coming to Steel Creek was pretty hard because I was away from my family and I care deeply about my family so it's just kind of hard for being away from them for I know that until I'm 18 and it's just like it was just kind of hard to adjust that I'm not going to be able to see my family as much as I got to. For That's me as well it was I mean kind of hard because I was used to seeing my family, yes, and also the school as well. And um, whenever I was at home, the school was bigger, it was a public school, it was not that good of an environment, I guess. And then coming here, it's like, whoa, like, this is a Christian school, like, there's not as, like, much mean people, and also there's, like, smaller classes, so you get one-to-one -one time as well. But, yes, I did miss my family, too. Would y'all say that it's been a good change? Yes. Yeah. I've accepted Christ. I've got my path straight towards him instead of going down the wonky road. Same, and it's taught me a lot how to control my feelings that I couldn't control when I was, before I came to Steel Creek, so. Yes. Awesome, thank you. Do y'all enjoy living together? Yes. Yes. What do y'all enjoy most about it? Um, the balance. The quality different kind of time, I guess. Quality time. The different personalities. Like she is funny and weird. She's clean and funny, and you're goofy. The different personalities makes our house what it is. And it doesn't make it all too similar mm -hmm. to where we are annoyed with each other all the yeah. time. And it's not like you're in an actual you sibling environment where y'all almost like Hope the school. exact same thing. And it's like y'all are all different, and so you kind of get along better with them. <laughs> I don't speak English. Who won the British one? <laughs> dude man. The, yes, Johnny said, hey, dude man. I'm a dude man. <laughs> Sometimes our children really will come to us directly from a traumatic situation. Uh, the gavel may drop in a courtroom and shortly thereafter the child may be here at the ranch. But that's actually not the most common way that we help children these days. Uh, well over 60% of our current population has been adopted. And when I say that they've been adopted, that's either foster adopted or kinship adopted. So a child many times is placed here at Steel Creek Ranch because an adoption or uh, some arrangement that uh, the child has had after a traumatic experience has been especially difficult for them um, or for even the host family, the adoptive family. And uh, so the private placement then uh, would be uh, to help in situations where maybe grandparents, aunt, uncle, uh, foster adoptive parents either were not uh, trained well in trauma-informed care and needed help um, or the child's behaviors were in some cases very severe which uh, they, they certainly would be in some cases. I have a counselor friend that says that all behaviors make sense in context and so um, our children do have quite a context and so um, the people here are very patient, very long-suffering and are trained in trauma-informed care. The next core value that we'll take a look at is where Steel Creek provides an excellent education to the children here at the ranch.
Hi, my name is Destiny Coleman and I'm a sophomore at Still Creek. Before I came to Still Creek, it was, I grew up in a faith-based home, but I didn't really have the faith and like the structure because I didn't believe in the Lord. And so it was just hard when my family would go to church and I didn't want to. But now that I'm at Still Creek, it's like, it's a faith-based school. And so it's really helped me grow closer to the Lord and help me when I'm in like a weak time to just want to build that relationship and build it with him. The way that Still Creek is a different school besides like a public school or like a charter school is it's very much built on faith. There's horses for like our ther like therapy horses and there there's more support and helping with grades and classes and relationships to just be built stronger. And so I think there's a lot more of like pouring into the kids besides public schools. While being at Still Creek, I've seen my grades improve just with attitude and like the help and the structure that we have here. And I definitely see change in my grades and that if I need help, they're willing to give it to me and I don't have to just like struggle and not have it. The core value that we would take a look at would be to provide a great work ethic. And you know, really here at the ranch, uh, that's possible because uh, that's natural to life on a ranch, to have uh, jobs and responsibilities and uh, you know, whether that's taking care of our horses, taking care of our livestock projects, or really just helping to upkeep the property that we have here. Uh, we have such an opportunity being on a ranch to learn a good work ethic. Oh Okay, so what about pigs helps you to have a strong work ethic? Um, because it creates a routine for us, and like in daily life, you always have to have a work routine because, you know, they make a schedule, so we also have a schedule, but also most of the time you have to have a little bit of mental strength and know that you can actually do good, and you also have to use a, a lot of elbow grease in this. So before I came to Still Creek, I was like had a horrible relationship with my family. I did not like just bond at all with my mother, and I was a very angry little boy. Um, coming to Still Creek really gave me the chance to uh, grow that relationship and grow the relationship with all my other family, and uh, come to the Lord. So with that, I learned harder work ethic and um, discipline and from basketball to uh, cleaning horse stalls at the arena to cleaning my pig stall, working with my pig, feeding my pig, even if it's snowing and raining and um, that's really developed over the years here at Stowe Creek. So when we talk about the core values, I often will state that we cannot give the other three core values until we've provided a safe home, and that is true. Um, but that being said, if I really had to elevate one core value over the rest, it would be the gospel. Because there is no other thing than God's word that gets to the heart of the matter, uh, divides joint and marrow, soul and spirit. And you know, when we read in Deuteronomy and then later in Mark that we're to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, well, my goodness, if we were to withhold the one core value that means the most, which is to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all the other things would be added, we would be doing such a disservice to our kids. So the core value of the gospel remains the most important thing that we can give our kids. Um, now. Again, readily admit that until we 
have really earned the right to share the gospel with kids. They may not be able to receive it, but the love of Jesus Christ is the one thing that will change anyone's life. My name is Gialessandra Soriano Monzo, and I am a senior at Stoke Creek, and I have been here for two years now, which is not that long, but it was the right amount of time. Um, and I'm going to talk about my testimony and how Stoke Creek has played a part in it. So prior to being to Stoke Creek, I had... Um, I didn't know how to have relationships with women figures and authorities just because um, there was a lot of hurt there with my bio mom and neglect and abuse and there wasn't much trust there and so I had this just internal conflict with submitting to women authority or motherly figures because I didn't have one and I didn't know how to have one and so that's where we started looking for alternative places for me to live um, because it wasn't a healthy home life. It was toxic and it was affecting all the other kids, my siblings. And so uh, my stepmom did research for like children's homes, placements. I didn't even know any of these things existed. But the Lord put Still Creek on her computer one day and she signed me up for an interview. I did an interview and got accepted, I think, like one or two days later. And I uh, joined Still Creek when I was a sophomore and so being at Still Creek I s have a house mom and a house dad and relief house mom and house dad and we were raised they're raising us in a Christian household which is something I was not necessarily used to let alone having both mother and father joining together to lead me in a Christ-like family so that was definitely new to me and I still, my heart was hardened and I still was very surface. I was respectful because these were strangers who were dedicating their lives to me. So I wasn't going to uh, push them away like I did my stepmom, but I definitely didn't also receive them. And so I was here at Still Creek with the mindset that I needed to do the work, that I needed to heal myself, that I needed to fix myself. But it's hard, and I wasn't built to carry all that burden. So uh, it wasn't until eight months into my Silk Creek residency when I went on a, a summer camp fishing trip up in Idaho, and I was just struck with the realization that I can't keep going on like this. Like, it's not me who's healing myself. It's the Lord. And I saw it in so many people around me, and yet I wasn't in on it. And so I just kind of had a light bulb moment, like I want what everybody else has. I want a relationship with Christ, not for anybody else, but for, for me. And so that's when I gave my life to the Lord when I was, I was 16 then, so it was just a year after. Um, and so since then, He has just taken off this negative filter of, just the woman distrust in my in my life and he's just completely clothed me in a new identity in him and not all the lies the enemy was feeding me to believe all the lies that I believe all the lies that I put out that I believed too um so he completely rooted me in his identity as um a daughter of Christ because he showed the ultimate sacrifice by dying on the cross for my sins, all of my sins, everybody's sins. And he presented me this gift that I didn't have to do any work to earn it. It was just solely a gift. We don't deserve it. And yet he still gives it to us. And so um, since then, the Lord has really changed my life. And Still Creek has definitely been a facilitator of that. They have provided the the women the the staff the resources just to show me Christ's love and that I don't need to be fearful anymore of women and I don't need to distrust them anymore um let me see 
11 versus um, 11. I'm way far off. Obviously, you have like 20. Hi, um, my name is Delaney and I'm a freshman at Still Creek Christian Academy and I've recently decided to um, follow God a few weeks ago and what led me to making that big decision was that I've been I've had struggles like everybody but I just never I was seeking help in the wrong places and I just didn't really I felt like God wasn't always there for me and I just kind of gave up and I finally came to Still Creek and I was surrounded by good influencers and of course the Word of God um, the gospel and I was I went through something that I just couldn't carry myself and I finally was just like I'm done with how I was living I wanted to start a new chapter in my life because I knew that God I, I knew God put me in this place for a reason. He didn't, I wasn't here by mistake. He gave me a home that I could live in and work through my problems because he knew that I would find him one day. And I, went, I was going through something and I was just, the burden was just too much for me to carry to the point where I was just like, I want a different life. I don't want my old life. And I didn't want to live how I was living before because it was just too much for a 14 year old to carry when a 14 year old should be, shouldn't be carrying the burdens of her past. She, she needed to put them at the feet of God so that because our burdens weren't made for us to carry, they were made for God. That's why he sent his son Jesus to come down and die for us so that we wouldn't have to take the sacrifice for ourselves. And he wanted, he loved us so much that he wanted us to be with him forever. So he made the decision to die for our sins, for our burdens. And just, and I had a lot of people influence me, talk about the gospel with me and just share a bit. It was a baby step, step by step. And I finally just, I got baptized a few days last week, I believe. And it was, it was a new, place it was a new experience because I was baptized before but I didn't mean the actual meaning for it I was about eight and so I was too young to understand the meaning of baptism I was too young to like know and then just it was finally I was finally like I'm new and I'm made I'm loved by God and everybody is too but just it's, I can finally say that I have a friend that will never leave me and never backstab me. I have a friend that will follow me in every life decision I take. And it's just relieving to know that I don't have to carry the burdens anymore. I don't have to carry the pain and suffering. I can live happily and joyfully. <clears throat> so, when we read in the scriptures to be holy as he is holy, uh, you get to the root of what holiness means, and holy means to be set apart. Not only do I believe that the staff members here at Still Creek Ranch are set apart for the good work of the gospel, but I believe God has uniquely set apart this group of kids to be served by the people here at Still Creek Ranch. Um, you know, to be holy as he is holy, to be set apart. Um, a set-apart staff working with a set-apart set of children, um, that means there's no coincidences here. God uniquely designed this group of people to be together in home and school environment so that children could be healed. Firmly believe that, that they are set apart and so are, so are our staff and uh, striving every day to be holy as Jesus was holy.